Hello everyone. I'm sure you guys are hearing the MacFit technology all over the time and curious to know how this system got evolved. In this video, we're going to present the evolution of MacFit one by one and you're gonna get your questions answered. First, we are going to start with the conventional design which comes the surface being fixed to the frame. Uh, the way it works, every board has a frame with the exterior being covered with either, depending on the manufacturer, it can be a fake leather or leather. And inside, there is a printed surface. And this cannot be replaced. Over time, this surface can age and the players might get bored and look for a change and we time to time we got requests from our players to ship the board back to us and have the surface being replaced. This is a tedious task as it involves extra shipping costs. The board needs to ship back to our shop in Turkey and then we need to make this change, the surface change. We offer this service to our local players in Turkey but we were not able to serve this way for our international customers as the international cost is, is quite high so this is not feasible and another item here is when you try to change the surface the exterior might get damaged uh, you might have small dents around, around the connection so this is really not the best technique so we wanted to develop a system where the surfaces can be replaced pretty easily. The first step was the MDF version, where we glued the surface to a thin MDF, which was used for our Michi table, table board, which you can see here. This worked pretty fine for a table board as this comes as open and you can easily replace the surface with this plastic item glued at one corner of the of the surface. Um, obviously the issue with using an MDF uh, insert is not feasible with the closed boards, as it adds additional weight to the surface and also this MDF can easily fall down for in, in a closed board. So we went to the next step with an acetate version where MDF was replaced by, by a thin material called acetate that gives the flexibility and durability and much more lightweight. We use that in our Galaxy boards, the first version of the Galaxy board, as you can easily slide this to the interior surface and it fits perfectly. The issue was, when you close this and open it again, it fell down. So this wasn't the best option because we did not feel comfortable with a surface that, that can fall down when it's closed. So, and also this plastic item in the corner is not something we felt comfortable with. The next challenge was to find a feasible solution to attach the surface, the playing surface, to the board frame. And for that, we thought using magnet might be a good option. So we started, and what you see is a galaxy board where we, we use our earth board to develop this system as well. We started with adding series of magnets 
to the surface of the board and having another thin layer of magnet would give us a chance to, to attach it to the board. And here you see that this also didn't give the great solution for us because the magnets were not powerful and it doesn't line up perfectly so we decided to go with a metal frame instead of magnets on the board surface and the basic rule of physics worked perfectly for us where we have magnet at the bottom of the playing surface that gets attached to the bo a metal thin metal surface on the board uh, seem to be the best option. Here we are in the final stage as we perfection the MagFed technology and start to use in our models, FM models, as well as the Galaxy models. This final product includes a very thin magnet glued to the printing surface and we have another magnet to peel off the surface from the board. You simply go one of the corner and remove the surface. Then what you need to do is to get the new surface and glide it to the board frame which is covered with a very thin metal. The way it works, you bring one end and let it slightly and slowly leave it on the board which perfectly fits on the frame. We started selling our boards with the Magnet technology since the beginning of 2021 and we have been hearing very positive feedback from our customers. And I think this new system brings the FM board to a next level as we are giving chance to our customers to modify their boards with a blink of an eye. At this point, we would like to acknowledge few people. It is Mark Olsen, Turas Mussan, and Mark Similio for their help during this process. They helped us to improve the system and make it perfect and we are using MacBit technology in Galaxy boards as well. The last but not the least, we would like to let everyone know that FM Gaiman owns the copyright of this system as it is patented in US and Europe. At this point I would like to thank everyone for watching us and hope to see you in next videos coming soon. Thanks.